Member of Parliament. As the investigations into the mismanagement of relief items meant for the Karamoja region gets to day two, the Speaker of Parliament, Anit Anita Mung, has cleared her name in the matter of the iron sheets. The Speaker says she did not ask for the iron sheets for her district, but when she saw them, she ordered that they be given to government schools. I saw iron sheets in Bukedea. I did not ask for them, but I ordered that they should be given to schools. Innocently. I did not open a shop, sell them, but they were given to schools, government schools. Stopping them from supplying the goods. The speaker also adds that the Committee of Presidential Affairs was allocated two weeks to investigate this matter and bring a clear report on why there was a diversionary of these relief items and that everybody should carry their own cross in this matter. Let's not go on diversionary. The member or the minister who is responsible for Karamoja is there. If there was any diversion, it is not anybody's fault. So I don't want other ministers to be pulled into what they are not concerned. Let everybody carry his own cross. Let's wait for a report to come back from the committee. And this house will take a decision. The member of parliament of Kira municipality, Honorable Semujunganda, has requested that speaker take parliament into another two weeks recess as they await the report on this matter because most of the ministers are implicated and others have decided not to show up in parliament. The whole cabinet from prime minister involved in that crime of disappearing uh, iron sheets for Karamoja. That government cannot come here and speak. Maybe, Madam Speaker, my suggestion. You suspend parliament for two weeks. When that report comes and we deal with that uh, problem of industrial scale, then we can, be, because I imagine, will the prime minister stand there, all the deputies, and they want to address parliament? Madam Speaker, I want to implore you, we will not die if you suspended parliament for two weeks. And the first business of this parliament is discussing the theft and disappearing of iron sheets and goats for Karamoja. On the other hand, the mayors from the Karamoja region have put the blame on government for exhibiting laxity in the issues of Karamoja for a long time. According to these, issues of cattle rustling, hunger, among others, are the order of the day in this region and yet the people meant to protect their interests are now stealing from them. With the keen interest from the beginning, we cannot be here discussing issues of people have stolen our units, people have taken our goods. Were we born to be mandated to be given goods by government? No. We are mandated to be protected by government so that our people, their livelihood is protected. And as a result, I want this committee to wake up and inform the president. I think somebody is deceiving the head of state that the research in Karamoja is normal. Every day, Rates are like meals in Karamoja. If you don't eat today, you will eat tomorrow. The Committee of Presidential Affairs has only two weeks to complete the investigations of the Karamoja saga and report back with a conclusive report on this matter. Samlanifa, Smart24 TV, Business Today.